Hello everybody, Max here, and today we shall be looking at me a historic medieval village, typically British. Anyway, uh, this is a historically accurate village that I made on Minecraft, and yeah, I'll show you through it, okay? Anyway, I based this village in the 1230s, the year 1230, so that's about, that's before the Black Death, just bearing that in mind. Anyway, first we have the Lord of the Manor's house, which is just, oh no, he's a farmer. Yeah, so this is it, quite a large house made out of stone, because he could afford it at the time, because stone is, was quite important and expensive. <laughs> Here we have the stables, which the Lord of the Manor used to have. We have its servants, and this is the servant's house, if he was lucky enough to have one. You know, nothing much. Little water basin, water bucket, that's it. And a cookery room, but yes, that is the peasant's house. Here, this is the Lord of the Manor's house, which is, he's over here, it seems to be... No, no, that's not the Lord of the Manor, that's a peasant, his servant. They did not like, they did not used to dress like that by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, here's the Lord of the Manor, who seems to just have gotten up out of bed. Anyway, he also has glass, as you may notice, because he was able to afford glass, and it was quite expensive, because other peasants used to just have holes in the window. Anyway, that was the Lord of the Manor's area, if you say. Anyway, this is a typical a uh, little house, peasant's house, not that good, complete just straw filled mattresses here and their toilet, yes, someone's fallen down the toilet <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's just a hole in the ground, it's nothing nice at all and this, that was the lavatory, just a water bucket and some food and that was always in, a horrible house, well, it would be pretty good if you lived at the time. And this is an even worse peasant's house made out of wood, which was less expensive than this type of house. Anyway, just three beds. This looks like to be looks like a family's house because this has quite few straw filled mattresses. Again, water bucket and a toilet. And it seems to be leaking as well. Quite annoying for them. <laughs> anyway, that was that. And here we have what seems to be a pond. Ponds, well, fish were quite used, well, they were eaten when there weren't enough land animals. Quite useful, I guess, if there's not enough things to kill. The church, here, quite, Christianity was very important at the time. So, and the bishop was the second most important person in the, uh, well, the village. And he also owned something called the Glebe Land. And yeah, that's that. We have the stables, animals and sheep, well, cows and sheep, mm -hmm. owned by a farmer. And here we have a water mill, which was used, well, to, like, break bread and stuff. And last but not least, we have a field. This is the three field system, as you can see here, they have two strips that have been used. And they leave, they left this one to regain all its goodness for the next season. And to plough, they used an oxen right here, who seems to just have ploughed the field. Good for him. Anyway, that was my little historic village. Thank you for watching. This has been Max and Sam's project. Goodbye. <laughs>